What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the REI Co-op Gear Guides. I'm Miranda. And I'm Hotek. And today, we're going to be talking about the best backpacking tents that you can find at REI this year. So to pick our tents this year, um, we talked to our customers and our members in the store while they were picking up their new tents. And we also looked at customer reviews. And these are our picks. Our first category is the best backpacking tent for solo backpacking. And for that, we've chosen the REI Co-op Quarter Dome SL1. So in choosing the best tent for solo backpacking, we knew that we were looking for something that was relatively light, but we also wanted a lot of interior volume or interior space in the tent, since we knew we weren't going to go with a bivy. So if you're going to go with a tent, we wanted that added room. So this tent is pretty easy to set up. It's actually a single pole system. Um, so it's all hubbed in right here. Um, and the poles are color coordinated. It is asymmetric. So you've got a uh, dark pole going over here and you got two brighter colored poles out there. Um, this tent is semi freestanding, which means that you have enough poles to pop the whole tent up, but you do need to stake out the foot box. So that's going to be over here and over here just to get all of your room. Yeah, and the main difference with a semi-freestanding versus a freestanding tent, again, is that a freestanding tent with just the poles, you get all of your interior space. Semi-freestanding, you need stakes to get all of the interior volume. Right. This tent is a single door entry. So we've got one door and one vestibule in the front of the tent. This is a great spot to store your dirty gear. Uh, since this is a small-ish tent, it's a lightweight tent, you probably have lightweight small gear. So you should be able to fit all of that on the exterior since you're not gonna want anything on the interior with you. It's gonna be tight. So there's uh, two numbers we wanna pay attention to when we're talking about weight of this tent. There's the packaged weight of the tent, which is two pounds, six ounces, and then the minimum trail weight, which is a pound 15. So the packaged trail weight is gonna be everything you purchase with the tent, but the minimum trail weight will only include the tent body, the rain fly, the poles, and the stakes, no extras. So if you leave all the bags, extra stakes, and guy lines at home, you can significantly drop on the weight of the tent. The peak height in this tent is 38 inches, uh, and you have almost vertical sidewalls, which really helps it not feel like an attic, so yeah. they don't come in on you. Otherwise, it, even the tent could be pretty high. It can feel really, really tight just because the walls are right up to your next to your face. Yeah. And then there's a number of pockets on the inside of this tent to help you organize your gear. And you do have a vent in the fly. Our next category is going to be the best tent for livability. And that's going to be the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL2. So in choosing the best tent for livability, we knew that we were looking for something that had vertical sidewalls, lots of interior volume, lots of vestibule space, and was still relatively light. So we chose the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV, or high volume, UL, or ultralight two-person tent. This tent clocks in at just over three pounds packaged weight, which is two pounds, 12 ounces minimum trail weight. And this tent's really easy to set up. So there's one primary pole yeah. that runs um, like this. Um, it's all shock cord together um, and it's hubbed right there and the poles are color coded so you've got dark poles over there and then you've got bright colored poles over here and then there's one crossbar which is also shock corded and that just pops right in and that keeps the walls nice and vertical and uh, nice and far away from you and this is a two door tent so you have two door entry as well as two large vestibules for storing your gear uh, which is just going to again help with that livability feeling on the inside you've got a bunch of pockets up top so you to organize all your gear and then there's some hang points in there where you can put in your, uh, your tent lanterns. And we've got that one vent right up top. So one thing that I think is really cool about this tent are actually the doors. So the way that Big Agnes designed this is with the zippers coming together at a point at the bottom. Um, so rather than just meeting and going wherever on the tent, it's always really easy to find the zipper that you're looking for, which allows you to sneak out of your door without waking your sleeping partner. Our next category is the best tent for bad weather, and for that we have chosen the REI Co-op Arete ASL2. So in choosing the best tent for bad weather, we knew that we were going to be looking for something that could withstand light snow, heavy rains, and heavy wind. So we chose the REI Co-op Arete ASL, or All Season Light, two-person tent, because this is a pretty burly tent for its weight. The weight on this tent is 6 pounds 5 ounces packaged weight, that's about 5 pounds 10 ounces minimum trail weight. This is a single door entry tent, so there's only one door in and out. It's got a nice big vestibule though, so yeah, you can does. put all your gear inside the vestibule right here. Um, this tent was actually designed for snow use, so if you take a look at these uh, stakeout points right here, they're actually extra big, so you can actually use your skis as a stakeout points on that guy. 
and there's um, a good amount of ventilation right here through this vent. And that ventilation actually helps the tent stay up during wind because it allows the wind to pass through the tent as opposed to knocking it over. Okay, so with the rain fly off, we can see the pole structure of this tent a little bit better. Um, this guy's set up pretty differently from some of the other guys. So it's separate poles. So we've got two poles that run across through these sleeves. They're color coded. So we've got a green side over there, and then we've got a dark side over there. And then we've got two brow poles here and here. So the brow poles add extra structure and strength to the tent when it's in bad weather. But if it's starting to rain, what you can do is you can just punch the poles through these sleeves and then just jump into the tent and it'll still stand up. One really cool thing about this tent that makes it great for bad weather is that you have fully sealable mesh on the tent. So if you're on a good weather day, you can always unzip this and you get a nice view from the mesh, but for more protection from the elements, you can fully close up the mesh on this tent. Nice. Our next category is gonna be the best tent for families and that's gonna be the Marmot Limelight 4. So if you're backpacking with a family or with young kids, the Limelight four person is about the closest to car camping comfort that you will get in a backpackable weight. This tent does weigh about eight and a half pounds uh, packaged weight. So that's seven pounds, 15 ounces minimum trail weight, but that does include the footprint. Um, also, since you're probably going to be going with a group of people, you can always divide up the fly and the body and the poles of the tent to divide weight that way. This tent's pretty easy to set up too. So we've got um, an orange hub pole and the orange pole goes to these orange tabs over here. And then we've also got a pair of gray poles, which will go with the gray tabs up here. And that will create the vertical walls and uh, keep everything nice and far away from you. Yeah, there's a ton of interior volume in this tent, which makes it feel really livable. You also have two door entry and two large vestibules. These vestibules are, I mean, they're massive. It gives you a ton of covered space on the outside of the tent. And if you're backpacking with three other people, you're probably gonna want that for storing your extra gear. And our next category is gonna be the best tent under $250, which is gonna be the REI Co-op Half Dome 2 Plus. So I really feel like the REI Co-op Half Dome 2 Plus deserves a ton of credit. Not only is it less than $250, but it's also just a great all around tent. A version of this tent many years ago was my first tent. Mine too. Yeah, and it's just, it's a really great backpacking tent. Uh, it does weigh about five pounds, five ounces, or four pounds, 15 ounces, minimum trail weight. Um, but it's also really good for car camping. It's just all around a good tent. Yeah, and it's super, super easy to set up. Um, the poles are totally symmetrical. The tent is totally symmetrical. Um, everything just snaps together. Um, so we've got four corner poles, and then we've got one crossbar that goes um, through the hubs. And that gives you totally vertical sidewalls. So you've just got a ton of room on the inside. It doesn't feel crammed at all. Yeah, there's a ton of interior space. There's also lots of pockets on the inside. And this is a two door, two vestibule tent. So you've got a large exterior vestibule for storing your gear on the outside of the tent. That's it for the best backpacking tents you can find at REI. As always, if you have other questions, you can watch our other videos. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And uh, yeah, come into your local REI and talk to the experts there. We'll be happy to geek out about tents with you. <laughs> See you later.